Hey guys, and in this video we're going to talk about Taipei. It's the capital of Taiwan. It's a modern metropolis with busy shopping streets and skyscrapers. That is home to 2.7 million people and the metropolitan area of 7 million people. After spending a couple of days in Taipei, I knew I was going to love the city. So let's learn more about it. This place is warm all year round and it rains a lot. Taipei has a monsoon-influenced humid subtropical climate. Summers are long, hot and humid with typhoons and thunderstorms and many afternoons while winters are short, foggy and also warm. You know it's warm because snow has never been recorded in the city. The best time to visit is probably in the fall from September till November. There's been a lot of Japanese influence when it comes to the city planning, which makes sense as Taiwan was a Japanese colony for 50 years. The city is characterized by straight roads and a square grid configuration. Great care has been taken to make it a truly livable place for people. Every few blocks there's a park, plenty of public restrooms, even in the subway, and many places provide courtesy umbrellas for free for rainy days. You can forget about driving. For most people there is no need to own a car in Taipei. The Taipei's public transit system, MRT, which stands for Mass Rapid Transit, has six lines of different colors. It's modern, it's clean, it's safe, it's efficient and it's easy to use. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to go to most parts in the city in no time and for cheap. Now it's a good idea to get an easy card as soon as you come here and keep it topped up for the duration of your stay. Choose the one that allows you to access all forms of transit including U-Bikes, which is a public bike sharing system. But if you decide to drive in the city, it's no problem at all. There's plenty of parking lots. It takes some time to figure things out and it's a little more expensive, but it definitely can be done. And that's what I did. This is a little bit confusing, but I hope I can figure this out. Taipei has now become one of the global cities in technology and electronics. The economy continues to expand at an impressive rate of 5% per year, with virtually full employment and low inflation. The city's GDP stood at 327 billion in 2014 and today is home to 30 billionaires, the 16th most in the world, even ahead of Los Angeles and Sydney. Tourism has become a major part of Taipei's economy. In 2013, over 6.3 million people visited Taipei. What's your name? Josh. Nice to meet you, Josh. Mm -hmm. Now, what brings you to Taipei? Uh, just vacation, checking out Taipei, uh, Tokyo, Osaka and Kyoto. Uh, where do you come from? Uh, Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. So that's mm -hmm. USA. Of course, when they arrive, first thing they want to see is Taipei 101. Towering above the city like the gigantic bamboo stalk that it was designed to resemble, Taipei 101 held the title of the world's tallest building for a number of years. Built to withstand typhoon winds and earthquake tremors, its design incorporated many engineering innovations like the massive iron wind damper, weighing in at 660 metric tons, to keep the building stable. Its fast elevators will take you to the 89th floor observation deck in just 40 seconds. There's also an outdoor deck on the 91st floor. In the basement, there is an enormous food court where you can find Taiwan's most famous restaurant, Dean Tai Fung. It was founded in 1958, and today it has numerous branches worldwide. Most tourists come here to try famous soup dumplings, also known as Xiao Long Bao. Each one has exactly 18 folds, and you can watch them being made through the window. The most important part of the Xiao Long Bao is the soup. So we take it from the top. Take it from the top, we put it at the back of the spoon. Then you can poke a little hole to let the broth come out. Then please enjoy some of the broth. Take a sip. And 
then you can add a little bit of ginger on the top and then enjoy it together. There's normally a 20 to 30 minute line in front of the restaurant. Speaking about hospitality, believe it or not, these guys seen me with a camera, invited me to join them at the table, and we had a great time trying all types of salon bao, even the ones with chocolate. They had a family reunion, by the way, and it's interesting that part of their family lives in the Philippines, another part in Canada, and another part in Taipei. Also, the restaurant gave me a little tour of the kitchen. So this is the open kitchen, and the open kitchen is one of the hallmarks of Ding Tai Fung. So in Ding Tai Fung, all around the world, we have over 160 branches, and the most famous thing about Ding Tai Fung is our Shaolong Bao. The Shaolong Bao is soup dumplings, so that means that it has soup inside. Some other interesting sites to see in the city. Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. It's a famous monument that was erected in memory of General Chiang Kai-shek, former president of the Republic of China. The hourly changing of the honor guard is probably the most popular site with many visitors. On the same square you'll find National Concert Hall and National Theater. In 2007, the square in front of the hall was renamed Liberty Square in honor of Taiwan's long road to democracy. Ni hao! Ni hao! There are endless temples in the city, such as Songshan Chiyu Temple. It's a folk temple built in 1753 and it's dedicated to Matsu, the goddess of the sea. Another temple is Longshan Temple, founded in 1738. This temple has served as a municipal guild and a self-defense center, as well as a house of worship and many other temples. The city is a lot bigger than what it used to be, obviously. And this old north gate, which is now almost in the center of the city, was previously the northern gate to Taipei City back in 1884. National Palace Museum. It is often described as the most important museum in the whole Chinese-speaking world. It houses nearly 700,000 artifacts spanning 8,000 years of Chinese history. Presidential Office Building. It's the workplace of the President of the Republic of China. This building was designed during the period of Japanese rule of Taiwan. Grand Hotel Taipei. After Chiang Kai-shek retreated to Taiwan in 1949, he felt it was difficult to accommodate foreign ambassadors due to the lack of five-star hotels in Taipei. So he decided to build an extravagant hotel in Chinese palace style to promote Chinese culture to the West. Elephant Mountain. This mountain has its own MRT station called Sangshan, which means Elephant Mountain. You only have to hike up for a few minutes to start enjoying the views and it takes about 30 minutes to reach the famous viewing spot with a large rock that you can climb onto and take some photos. A lot of people again. Yeah. Simending is a daytime and evening pedestrian shopping area with a high concentration of hip, funky and weird things going on. There are street performers and crowds of people shopping in Simending for cheap and trendy shoes, clothing, colored contacts and other accessories is a favorite activity among Taipei youths. Head to the end of the Taipei Zoo MRT line to go for a ride on the Malcon Gondola. The four kilometer trip into the hills in the southeast of Taipei takes about 30 minutes. This ride will take you over the fields of Bao John O Lung Ti. Again, I made some great friends here. Everybody, hi. Uh, I really agree to the introduce my country, Taiwan. Now we will go to the Mao Kong. Mao Kong is a very beautiful mountain in Taipei. Thank you. Huan Yin Guang Yin. Huan Yin Guang Lin, Mao Kong. <laughs> this guy's name's Peter, and he kindly invited me to join them for lunch at one of the restaurants with a wonderful view of the area. So, do you prefer tea or coffee? Tea. Tea. Well, she went cha. 
when you come back from Malcon, you might as well visit Taipei Zoo, which is like a huge tropical garden. It's clean, it's comfortable, and it has a lot of animals, including endangered species. But the part that I was mostly excited about was seeing the giant pandas in real life. Yangmingshan National Park is one of the nine national parks in Taiwan. Unfortunately, the day that I decided to visit the park, it started raining, so I couldn't really see anything. Taipei is a rainy place, I told you. Wow, so beautiful. This was supposed to be a scenic area, and I got on top of the mountain, and I thought we'd be able to see something, but I can't see anything. Beitou Hot Springs. It was first developed by the Japanese during the Japanese colonial occupation of Taiwan. This hot spring village in Beitou District, they say it's the only hot spring resort in the city. Tam Shui. This place is technically located in New Taipei City. People come here in the evening to enjoy the beautiful sunsets, watch some street performers, and take pictures with the beautiful lover bridge in the background. Taiwan's been voted as the best food destination in the world many times. The culinary philosophy here is eat often and eat well. Sure, why limit yourself to the internationally accepted three meals a day format when you can do gourmet snack at any time of the day? The best place to sample Taiwan's famous street food is at one of its night markets, like Shilling or Raohe. Lots of options and you can try anything from stinky tofu to exotic fruit. It feels like a whole nother city at nighttime. The city is filled with bubble tea joints. Variations include taro flavored tea, jasmine tea and others served cold and hot. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Stir your meat, don't shake it, okay? Okay. Yeah. I've mentioned taro, and taro is a tropical vegetable, and they have this thing called taro ball. It's a traditional dessert made of taro, and it can be found in almost every part of Taiwan. They also have some weird restaurants like this poop cafe. Yeah, you heard it right. It's called Modern Toilet. Crappy food and shitty service. It's hugely popular among Asian tourists. The food honestly is pretty average, but the best part is seeing the food being delivered to you in toilets and urinals. And that's the only reason to visit this place is to have a laugh. What a great cafe. So interesting. There's lots of foreigners living in Taipei. This guy Steve has been living here for eight years now. Let's see what he has to say. How you doing? All right, uh, pretty good. Thanks. What's your name? Steve. And what brings you to Taipei, Steve? Uh, chill out a little bit, have some fun, great food, and looking for work. Also, I might stay here again. How long have you lived here so lived far? Here eight or nine years before. What so. would you say the three best things about the city are? The food, for sure. The food. The food is is. Definitely one of the best, if not the best thing. It's two other things. Uh, people are friendly. People, yeah. Uh, and um, uh, transportate. There's there's great transportation here. They have the MRT and, and and mostly that's great. And stores everywhere. You can get everything everywhere here at a good price. Beautiful. And what's your favorite location in the city? I'd say this area actually, Guangzhou. -Jie. Guangzhou right. the market area. And we yeah, come the Long San Temple area from the US. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's my yeah, tour guy for today. <laughs> for whatever reason, doesn't matter. They are more strict in Taiwan on see they're strict on age in China, but they're but here they're strict on on credentials for getting work. Okay. Like like a lot of schools if they want an English teacher, they'll 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 require certification. Is that what you do? You're okay. an English teacher? That's what I've done that time. That's not what I that's not what I am, but that's what I that's what we all do when we're here. Right. <laughs> that's what we do. Nigga, nigga, rubber up. 
Oh, you like you eat chicken? I uh, of course. Yeah, get that egg G pie, man. You get some in G pie, man. This is tofu. Hanhao chicken. Oh, this is tofu. This is tofu. That's tofu, right? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Something you recommended. Okay, wonderful. Yep, yep. Tofu, well, chicken, eggplant. That's the way to go. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, tofu. The city has a lot of good universities. One of them is National Taiwan University, which was established in 1928 and has produced many political and social leaders in Taiwan ever since. Okay. Let's talk to some of the students and see what they have to say. What's your name? I'm a nice hobby. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And what program are you studying at the university? I'm studying in economics. Economics. Okay. And what do you want to be when you graduate? What kind of job would you like to have? Mm, I'm not sure now, but I, maybe I will work in a bank. In a bank? Yeah. Okay, so you want to work in a bank. What's your name? My name is Zina. Z i n a. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Ni hao. I'm studying in finance. 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 You like it? Yes, I think so. Good. Uh, And what do you want、yeah. to be when you graduate? Uh, I'm not really sure about it because I used to think I will be a police when I grow up, but it didn't happen. <laughs> so I'm not really sure about it. <laughs> okay, and what is it that you like about this university? What's the best thing about this university?、Um, I think it's the people here, my peers, my friends, and the teacher here is really good too,、okay. and the environment. Like there are many.、Trees. Oh, the campus! Yes,、uh, the campus. It's wonderful. I see a lot of people are riding bikes. That's、yes. very popular. Yes. Okay. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. See you again. You know, there's been a lot of American and Japanese influence over the years when some of the most popular sports are baseball and basketball. <laughs> Taipei is very safe. Even at night, there's no need to worry at all. It's a typical neighborhood at night. Let's take a walk. <laughs> Taipei is a lot cheaper than other big cities in East Asia. Including Tokyo, Seoul, Singapore, and Hong Kong. Is it fun to live here? Sure. My first impression was that people are friendly, and it was easy to start conversations with random people, like this guy, who came to film his friends jogging in the morning at this park. What's your name? Ah,、uh, Peter. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. And what brings、uh, you to this park? Well, sorry.、Uh, you gonna be jogging? 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 Like running? Yeah, together. Ah,、oh, well, with the camera. <laughs> yes, camera. You have such a heavy set. Yeah,、It's、so heavy. About three kilograms. I tried to lift it.、Oh. It's so heavy. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, people are very friendly and helpful. And I had a few instances when locals came to my rescue. I once bought some sushi at a to-go place at an MRT station, and I didn't know it was a to-go place, so I couldn't find a table. So this guy took me all the way to the nearest food court, and then he invited me to join them at the skateboarding party, and we had lots of fun that day. Beer, music, and some good-looking girls. How you doing, guys? What are some of the things to do outside of the city? Just outside of Taipei, if you're heading south and east, there's an impressive collection of mountains with winding roads and breathtaking views. I really enjoyed my trip to Shimen Reservoir. What's your name? David and Mary. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. And where do you come from? Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah. Okay. Ta Taipei. Actually, Taipei. <laughs> We live in Taipei. My my parents live in, around here. Interesting. Yeah. So, so we you came go, to visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every week. <laughs> <laughs> Every. If you feel like going swimming, about an hour away by train or car, 
there's a beautiful beach called Fulong. It's really becoming popular during the summer because people want to beat the heat. So you better come here early on a hot day because it might get crowded. So there you have it. This is Taipei for you. It's less polluted than Beijing. It's cheaper than Tokyo and it's warmer than Seoul. Thanks for watching guys. We'll have more videos coming soon.